Hi guys, in this video we are going to see uh, how to create the multiple entities and how to create different uh, parameters in Dialogflow CX, right? Uh, before moving on, if you are watching this channel and if you find this useful, do subscribe to the channel. 92% uh, are not subscribing uh, to the channels, right? And if you are coming from the Google search or anything like that, do give us thanks super thanks over there uh, and you can always like and subscribe to the channel okay so let's consider a scenario where we are trying to capture something like i want to book a flight from pune to kolkata using platinum card at 10 am right so over here what we have is four entities right one is departure city one is arrival city one is card type right and over here we have something called type so these are the information we are going to capture uh, in uh, entities and also in the parameter, right? And we will see how it will behave uh, uh, with respect to the different scenarios, right? So if I provided information like I want to book a flight from Pune, right? So it should ask only arrival city card and time. It should not ask the departure city because we have already provided that, okay? So what we will do is uh, over here, right we will first create something like uh, intent okay and in that intent we will pass the parameters that we want to capture right so we will create like uh, book a flight something like that right so over here i will start giving the training phrases over here which we have right so i will give something like this already platinum spelling is wrong about It's saying it is wrong okay now over here if you see that it has did it has color okay so we will delete that so it has detected uh, pune and kolkata as different cities and at time 10 a.m is equal to the date time right uh, we will remove this to this and we will change this to only time because we are only interested in time not interested in date, right? And we will name those as something like uh, parameter name as departure city. So this is instead of geo city, we will say them as arrival city over here. And we will just delete the color because what we have to do is we have to create the entity that will be uh, custom entity. I think that let's do that into the next video. Uh, for this, we will use only the uh, only the system entities that we have. Okay, so let's give this one. Okay, so what we have done is we have given a training phrase. It uh, Google already have entities which are like system entities. If I click over here, you will see that there are list of entities like flight number, temperature, duration, zip code email and all those things are already present so if you provide any of this input and uh, while training the training phases for a particular intent what it will do is it will uh, try to capture those entities and give you as a variable so what we are getting is we want to use this Pune and Kolkata as a city uh, with a variable right so that we can book a flight right and for that we have to call an api and api requires parameter and this parameters or this nlp uh, using the system entities or entity uh, helps you to capture those right so that is one training phase that i have given i want to give i want to book a flight so let's give this also help me book a flight what else we have i want to book a flight from pune so this is also valid and this will go as departure city okay not the arrival so make sure you mark those correctly uh, so that uh, so that uh, it uh, uh, what do you say train properly get trained properly sorry I was doing two things at a time, so I got confused. Okay, uh, so this is all the information that we have and then do, right? And do you want to give any example? Yeah, something like um, book me a flight at 
or PM something like that. Why is giving me error? Four at four PM. Okay. And we will mark this as system time, right? We don't require this date and time. Uh, not what I will do is I will just click a save and we have that a book of light over here. Now what I will do is over here. Uh, once users say hi, we are coming over here, right? Main menu. And what I will do is, apart from this three, I will also create another uh, route, which is book of flight. And now what I will do is, instead of uh, uh, creating a page or going to a page, what I will do is I will go to a flow. And so what I will do is something like, uh, book a flight page oh, sorry flow and give a name over here and before that I will say that sure I can assist you with flight booking click a add click a save so once it gets saved right what you will see over here now is from the main menu now we are going to another flow. If you see over here, new flow has been created. So what we are saying is now, if the intent book of flight get triggered, go to a book of flight flow. Okay. Now this book of flight already have a start page, right? So what we will do is we will uh, uh, we'll uh, do two things over here, right? So first of all, we'll just remove that phrase uh because I, everything i want uh, what phrase i will tell you uh so we are going to remove this phrase over here right so what we want to do is everything related to related to book of light should be within that book of light flow and not outside like in the start default flow right so what i will do over here so once i click a route this time we don't have any intent to trigger right now what we will do over here is we'll do give a condition as true uh, sorry customize expression and give a condition like true over here so this will get triggered automatically and I will give something like over here click add and click save right now this will go to the again its own main page so let's create another main page over here uh, so we will name it main page or main flow main main oh, main menu okay okay and in that what we will do is we will try to capture those information so over here you can see in the pages we have something called parameter now the parameter name has to be the same as what you have defined uh, in the in the intent so that it get matches uh, automatically when you're defining the intent so let me again rephrase this first type so this we have parameter name has to be the same as what you have defined into the intent while creating the intent entity's name right because if user is already providing a sentence like this something like this right so it has already all the entities that we required so that we don't ask those again if it is not present then only ask right so that is what we are trying to do over here so we'll mark it as required okay and we will say that uh, if user have not provided, please provide the departure city name. Okay. Click add, click save. Another parameter is what? So we will give arrival city. So this was the name, right? And this was also city, oops. 
select that one okay it is required and we will say please provide the arrival city name yeah name okay so let's do a that arrivals arrival okay so there that one is added and the last one was something called time and entity was time right and and at what time you are looking looking to book a flight click add click save okay so what we will do is once each all the information has been captured what we want to do is we want to trigger uh, a route okay and play this information okay so what i will do is over here we will do a customization match so we will say that all page params dot uh, status okay so it means that all params value is in final state okay and if it is in final state just play the message uh, so i have already created this variable i will just copy paste over here so session that params dot departure city arrival city at so we will remove the card detail okay and this will be capital t click add so what it will do is it will get the value from the session and try to print it over here okay and this three parameters that we have captured it should be get printed okay and what we are saying is we will just end the session over here something like this okay okay so let's test it out if it is working or not so let's say i give hi so it will give me welcome message right so it goes to the default start will come and it triggered this one i say what we have i want to book a flight from so instead of pune i will say london because that's not we have given in any of the training phases right so it gives me uh, please provide your arrival city now if you see over here since we have already given london which is a departure city it is not asking me for the departure city so i will give uh, pune over here and time of the flight 3 pm let's say and and it doesn't display anything why let me just check uh, did we did the configuration so we did the main menu and once everything is captured we just ending the session and here are details yeah it is true let me double check it just a second so it says double code okay sorry that was my mistake so it's it will be in double quote instead of that click save go to test agent and click play so okay this is one of the good coolest feature in dialog for cx is instead of uh, doing the previous test again by writing just you click play and it should re-enter those details automatically okay so if you see over here now we are getting the value as over here uh what we are supposed to get right so what might have happened in the previous one is since it does not get triggered okay so what is exactly happening over here let me explain that one <laughs> otherwise i will get in the comment that okay what was that okay so what we are saying over here uh, page param status so if you go to the parameters in dialogflow cx document right what they are saying is if the page current page okay so this page uh, this is the main menu page right let me scroll up this is a main menu page so if this page form so this parameters are called form right uh, is filled then the status of the param page status will be final otherwise 
for individual one also you can check page param and parameter id so like our in our case it will be uh, departure city right departure underscore city uh, dot status equal to updated if it has value or not right so then also you can trigger any particular functionality if you want to do that way okay so what is what you're doing is over here once we have all the three values right so this means this line means once we have all the three values captured from the user then trigger this one okay so near we, this time we are not triggering the intent we are triggering the uh condition over here condition okay so let's do a testing uh, another test uh, and in that uh, we will be asking information such as okay let's give the full sentence right how it behaves so i will give hi and uh, i will say help me get a flight and hold this detail oh sorry i so let's remove this one and this key let's see how it behaves so it you can see that since we have already provided all the details pune to kolkata and the time it directly goes it does not ask any of this detail now let me do uh, another one where i will not provide any of this this detail okay so it, then it should ask me right book a flight flight okay so now it will ask me the departure city so i will give london and then to pune and let's say at 1 pm right so now it will give you london to pune at 1 pm and uh and rest of the messages right okay so this is how we do a system or entity or parameter capture and multiple parameters capture right in the next video we will see how to do the system entities right uh, sorry <laughs> not the system custom entity so in this one we remove or we didn't do the platinum card right so we will also do the platinum card in the next video where i will show you how to create a custom entity and how to use that into our cx okay so hopefully you find this video useful and do give a like and thumbs up or subscribe thank you have a nice day